Alrighty. I'm streaming now. Can you guys hear me? Hello, testing one, two, three. Ooh, you I'm sound here. balanced, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm hearing it from both ends. You're balanced. Oh, thank you so much for the fix, Connor. God damn, this shit. All right, real yeah. fast, everybody in the chat. All right, let's just, uh, some quick quo quo news. Hi there, everybody. I'm in Los Angeles right now. I'm currently at the domicile of Xander and Bosco, two lovely friends of TFS who have been very kind to us. You may know them as voice actors who are in really professional things. And you'll notice there's no bit cup. You will notice there's no cool borky effect. I am sorry those are not installed on my laptop OBS. I do apologize. I tried to get everything done in time. It's been kind of a stressful day. And a lot of really expensive cab fares. So I'm here, though. We got the stream up and running. And Xander is in the Xander Mobus. Yes, yes. I'm actually You're actually hearing me on his, his laptop right now. Uh, not his laptop, sorry. You're hearing him me on his microphone. So I figured I'd bring it up. Uh, next week, there will not be an episode of The Unexpectables on Wednesday. I don't think there will be until the following Wednesday. Unfortunately, due to a lot of constraints and... I'm flying at the exact time the stream is supposed to go live. So I do apologize in advance that there will be a week off. Um, I, no, I really, I am sorry, guys. There's going to be one week off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying here, man. I brought my laptop. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, it, it happens. We're in the middle of con season. I'm, it so, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm made for any of it. The Jag, thank you for some, some, there's so many great subscriptions coming in here, but we don't have all the well, bells and well, whistles. Well, it's okay, dude. It, it's okay, dude. I may, I, I may end up putting a hold on the week before that because I'll be moving down to Texas and I might not have internet at the time. So yes, that, that'll so. be like either a reschedule, that'll be a rescheduled day most likely. Uh, that with that one we'll reschedule because we can't take two weeks off. But mm -hmm. just, like, we'll try our best to see what happens. We will keep everyone informed. Please check the Unexpectables uh, Twitter as well as Team Four Star will tweet it out too. Um, I'll try and I'll talk to Star about maybe working on a post as well, just something we can throw up below or below the actual um, chat screen to just notify everybody on what it is. And yeah, uh, again, I do apologize uh, for any of the inconveniences this is causing the viewership. We're really happy that you guys are sticking around here. Just curious how many people we have in the chat right now. Seven thirty-one. Yep. Jesus Christ. How many fucking people? I am. Um, <laughs> uh, dude you need to take some breaths it's gonna be okay people are just, here for us not not the technical in, in, the, in the infamous words of mr iwata please understand well i'm not gonna <laughs> say freeze because then then i'm because I, I don't say freeze i say thank you Pooty. <laughs> um so yeah so we will keep you guys informed with everything uh, I will be at AX this weekend here in Los Angeles, um, throwing t-shirts at your face. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Nothing much else really to write home about. What the fuck was that no noise? That was me. I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh -oh. moving. Act okay. um, may, may, mayhaps, mayhaps we tell the uh, pizzeria incident before we get started. What pizzeria incident? We, me and me and guys didn't have a pizza. Oh, okay. Answer. So it's, a... it's very, it's very fast. Okay. Uh, so basically, um, <laughs> we were we were at this pizzeria because it was the only freaking place open. Uh, we ordered we ordered two pies, and I pull out my my card and I pay for it, and uh, Zito's like, "Oh, you didn't have to do that," and I'm like, "Dude, I'm gonna pay for this meal, or I do or you're not getting the whistle." <laughs> And I said, I can't fucking believe that you're holding a piece of fictional fucking material and it's used as proper collateral. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can we can we just like in character by saving time? I'm gonna pass off the whistle, but but will you owe me a favor? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! No, no, you two don't care for each other, but I didn't think it was that Whatever. bad. Whatever. <laughs> Oh my All goodness. Right. So I officially right. passed the whistle off to him. Because I can't okay. use it anyway. We make it so, Sorry. Task, you have the whistle now. You have control over the dragon S creature that you received last session. You should, and you should ride it like session, a horse. Ride it it's not like rideable, a horse. sadly. What? Oh, yep. anything is if you put uh, your mind to it. <laughs> Alright, you guys believe. ready to take this off? 
Heck yeah. Uh, All right. Go. All right. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Panic the Tiefling Bard, the party was tasked with pursuing a large unnatural thief who had been ransacking the western regions of Alabast. Cleaving off the heads of heroes and stealing ancient heirlooms, and worst of all, kidnapping the daughter of a village leader. The party's travels have taken them through the forests of Alabast, and after making friends in Everbright, the party found a new foe in a group of dragon cultists who took over the peaceful farming village of Dragon's Take. After slaying the cultist leader and looting, him, looting from him a magical whistle that controls a drake, the party met with a villager named Meredith, who shared with them an ancient tapestry of the giant creature that they are pursuing. The name Ronfalt now rings in our adventurer's ears as his march of chaos has led the party to the edge of the Briar's Glen. So the party travels on, their quarry's name in their mind, nervousness in their hearts, and a warning of yellow eyes in the woods. Quick, so, quest. Quick question. Do we do we get a full night's rest so we have our HP re restored? Yes. You guys fully heal. Yes. You guys are level one, so let you hold, fully heal. Um, in fact, that night, you guys speak to Meredith. You, get, you, you look at the tapestry. Um, and she actually, she and the rest of the villagers actually leave that night. They, they decide they don't want to stay without having, um, uh, the village leader there with them. Um, mm -hmm. so they decide to head towards Everbright, um, to, to get to safety. Um, Meredith happily lets you guys live, sleep in the house. Um, and she doesn't give you a key because all the houses are actually unlocked because it's such a secluded region. Um, so she gives you guys, uh, between the villagers, they give you all about five blankets, and uh, they give you guys some, some provisions. So everybody add two rations to your inventory. Dope. Sweet. Yeah. They, they wanted to thank you. They don't have very much, but they, they wanted to thank you. And they all set out as kind of a caravan of Were people. They, um, health potions? they don't have wizards there. Fuck! So. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. I got a stick. Oh, that's you right. got a stick? Heel stick. Yeah. <laughs> That can heal once. Oh, it's, uh, wait, 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 it's morning. It is yes. morning now. Yeah. It's As you guys wake up. <laughs> to get orky. It's time to get porky. In the far distance, you can hear the scattering of birds in the trees. <laughs> oh my god. As you guys open the front door of Meredith's uh, little little house, um, you're met with a extremely still day. Borky, it, no Borky's, wind. Can, can it's Bor hot and it's humid. Can Borky be doing squats with a wagon on his shoulders? <laughs> a, <laughs> can you lift a, a wagon? Roll a strength check with disadvantage. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't say how big the wagon was. Like, it's, it's like I determine how big the wagon is, buddy. Well, like, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> let me just get. Let me just get my character up here one second. Oh, oh boy, okay, this is what your deck has wrought. Where's, where's Borky? One second. Sorry, I'm, I'm using a touchpad, so this is really going to be a rough set. Oh boy. Me. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be one of those, Nadine. It's going to be. All right, here we go. Here we go. So let's. Uh... <laughs> Is watching so, is, is, so okay, okay. So here, here, here's the thing that now I, I see. There's like, there's like my strength stat, and then there's like the strength dexterity. You click, you click your, you click your strength stat. You, you don't click the saving throw. So where you have your modifier. Oh, that's a natural <laughs> one with disadvantage. <laughs> no. You walk over to a cart which probably fits about twelve people in it given that this is a town that is a farming community and thus has to carry a lot of food out at once. The horse is still dead on the ground in front of this cart and flies are all over it and it's still oozing out of the mouth and it's got like big sections of it carved out where the cultists were kind of gathering food. You go over to grab the cart and you just with both your hands and you go to lift and then you feel your back. Something in your back is pulled. This is getting this is getting meta now because that's actually there actually is a problem with my back right now. <laughs> so you now just see Taz looking out the window from the upstairs room they were just sleeping in and smiles slowly. This morning <laughs> just went from good to great. Yes. You're all idiots. Yes, it did. You take no damage, but the emotional damage is it's there. Oh, it's you'll there. never get that you'll never get that back. That's permanent. <laughs> um I assume you're going into the woods, Greckles. Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, because that's yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, because of how still the air is, hiding your movement is extremely tricky. Um, you make your way towards the edge of the uh, Briar's Glen, and as you go into the the bushes and trees, um, even the rest of the party, you guys notice where Greckles is moving, just because nothing else is. Is what? Uh, nothing else is. So like, you're stealthing and you're in the bushes, you're, and you're moving things around, no matter how careful you are, just because everything else is just so still. There's no wind. It's just the heat of the sun and the humidity in the air <clears throat> from yesterday's rain. All right, so let's see. Well, we're gonna have to venture into very dangerous territory. So, is there anything else someone needs to do or needs to prep for before we head out? Okay, if I lie down, will you massage me back? I think I tweaked it <clears throat> a little bit. Anyone besides him? Oh, it's really bad. I can't even move my left side properly. I, I just like the idea of Tass taking out a fucking, like, one of his arrows and acupuncturing him in the back better. <laughs> oh, that's very therapeutic! It totally was for me as well. What would what would the check be for that, by the way? Medicine. medicine. <laughs> medicine. Alright, I'll, I'll hop back out, because I know that that's not going to help anyway, but... <laughs> I believe she um, did do the stretches, I think. She did do the stretches. You know what? It's not a it's not a very bad injury and I use finger quotations. Uh you manage to kind of just hit him hard in the back and it fixes it. Oh <laughs> one good punch. Oh. Yeah, give him a bird punch. Oh. Oh ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hold on, one more. Right. One more one more Grex. One more. One more. Ah oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. oh man, I can't I can't do a uh, I can't do an an unarmed attack and click on it, can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> you would roll a 1d2, which would be a 1d4, um, and then apply your strength modifier, I believe, is an unarmed strike. Um, I could have that completely wrong, but I don't do unarmed strike too often, so. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I don't know a monk, so. <laughs> I, just punch him in, I just punch him in the back and angrily walk away. All right. So as you guys set out to the edge of the woods, um it's there's no path there's no trail it is thick brush uh ferns vines uh large shrubs blackberry bushes thorn bushes um and large trees all right i'm gonna take out the map and do my best to at least mark from where we are now to off the off the beaten road okay would that be survival or would that that be would be that would be survival I'm gonna hop. I'm nice, gonna hop okay. back in in the meantime. Okay. Nice. You uh, decide to um, find your ninja route, and instead of in the bushes and shrubs, you are hopping tree to tree. Oh, nice. Do I need makes? Do I need to make uh, some acrobatics? The check? trees are so clustered together. I'm gonna say no. I have like, a okay. This are, is a very wooded area. Are are Greckel's arms behind him as he's running forward? I Heck hope yeah. so. Of okay. course. Um, good, good, good. Task, sure. you're able to crudely with a piece of charcoal that you got from the village. I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, you manage to keep pace. Um, you're actually using a lot of your soldier training to kind of keep a, an eye on the sky wherever you get a break in the trees to, to know where your position is. Um, as you guys are walking, probably about three hours now, it is hot. It is humid. Anyone who's wearing a shirt, you're going to wish that you weren't. Um, you are currently in soup. Right uh, now, it is so hot. Borky, takes Borky, off the shirt. Borky, <laughs> oh uh, god. Bor Borky takes um, the 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 magical water takes sword off skin. and just slowly, <laughs> like just on the on the blunt end of it, just slowly rubs the sweat off his chest. Me just... Meanwhile, there's fucking Task roosted on a boulder. <laughs> ah, bunch of idiots. It sure is moist All out right. here. How are Do you I... not baking right now? While they're Ooh. talking, I'm looking. As you look, um, you see yellow eyes staring right at you. As you jump to your next tree, you stop and you look up and you see an owl. And it was looking at Panic, Borky, and Task, and it suddenly turns and looks at you and then takes off into the air. Can I... Silently. Can I, can I attempt to dart it? Go ahead. It's probably small though, so. Yeah, it's pretty 
quite small. I actually don't know if I have owl up right now. Sorry. 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 Okay, let me get my cheat dice out. We'll be good. No. <laughs> That's actually a thing. I bought cheat dice in too many games. Uh, that hits. Nice. Um, roll, roll damage on that. Bam. Damn. Nice. Uh, I just closed the book because I'm a dumb person. Give me one second here. Uh, oh, yeah. As you uh, you guys watch as suddenly you hear and you hear, you see Greckles as this dart hits this owl, suddenly a large form falls from where they were flying and then crash down into the foliage below. You hear twigs snap and break and you hear the rustling of bushes and trees and leaves. Uh, all of you also hear this um, about probably 40 feet in front of you in the depths of the woods. What so, the, so, so there's other, is it just the rustling of the thing that I just hit or is it all over no. us? No, it's it fell and he heard it. It crashed to the ground. The rustling of the trees and the snapping of twigs as it crashed onto the ground. Pull out bow. Let's get do. Let's do this. What the hell was that? It's a spy. Right. What? A spy. For who? What's that? It's the yellow eyes. Don't let your guard down. Gorky <laughs> uh, uh, scrambles and grabs his axe. All right. As you, you guys approach, may want to lower the music a little bit. Yeah, sorry. There we go. There we go. Uh, you guys approach the form. Yep, I'm staying in the trees. Uh, as you guys approach the form, you see it's about human sized, um, wearing a long, almost robe, and rising up, pulling the dart from their chest, like just <clears throat> like pulling it out and throwing it into the bushes. You see. A rather live elven female with pure white hair bellowing down her back, almost touching the the forest floor. And her eyes are pearlescent, almost white. Um, and she sort of has this weird sort of position. And she stops wielding a large wooden staff with ivy growing and dangling down the front of it. Kenick raises his hand up and he says, We mean you no harm. Who are you? What are you doing here? I ready in action to dart her again if she tries anything. Do you understand me? Uh, she takes a step back from you. Shit. Hope someone speaks Elvin. Yeah, because I don't. I, I, my oh, I, the use, giant I use my, I use my scroll of comprehend language actually, so I can't do that. Um, you guys can try charisma checks, mm. just I like think, for body language to yeah, ease the I'm, tension. I'm gonna, I'm going to sort of lower my guard and make myself look not vulnerable but not hostile. Just okay. To... Um, you watch as this live elven figure. Uh, she's still intimidated. She's she's not. Uh, she's very suspicious about you. Uh, and she lifts up her hand, and I want everybody to make a strength saving throw. Fuck, son of a bitch. Except for Greckles, you're still in the tree, right? That is correct. I had a you don't, action. You don't have to make one. Ah. I have to make a strength saving throw. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh shit. Do I, am I still hidden from her? No, so she knows you're there, but she's she's dealing with people on the ground at the moment. Yeah, I did it. Can I reattempt stealth to try and get away from her? her uh, uh, yes, you can, because she's currently distracted at the moment. Um, nice. Let's see if she even notices you. That's the question. Yeah. Nope, she doesn't see you. Um, task and panic, as you're standing there, she lifts up your hand. You feel the plants entangle around you and trap you in place, you are restrained Mother at the moment. Motherfucker. Um, and then, Borky, you, as the plants kind of begin to wind around your arms, you just flex your muscles and then oh. just kind of throw them off of you. 
the right. live figure then transforms into a giant eagle and begins to fly off. Um, Greckles, you can make your attack. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to. Um, I'm actually going to not attack. Okay. But uh, I want to. I want to watch. I, I want to watch to see which direction she's going. If I need to make checks. Okay. She turns into a large, uh, pure white eagle, um, and sets out into the air, heading westward. And out of sight. After a short while, the plants just go back to their natural order. You are no longer restrained. Mm. Fucking god damn it. I'll hop back down to reconvene with the others. Well, gentlemen, those were our yellow eyes. It didn't Elves. look yellow to me. You did <laughs> notice looking at this figure is she did have um, like yellowish pearlescent kind of eyes to her. Oh. They look and as an to eagle, me. and as an eagle, they were quite yellow as well. And as an owl, even more so. Well, you didn't happen to see which way she flew away. She flew west, and I assume that's the direction we need to go to get some answers. Yeah, which will be even more nice to explain when none of us speak Elvin, and the woman's going back with a knife wound in her chest. Does anyone speak Eagle? Oh, Crackles, okay. do you speak mm. Eagle? <sighs> that is actually a fair question. What? Uh, do you speak? Y'all are you you're do? all a bunch of racists. No, just jump no, back in stealth. Disagree. Disagree. How is that racist? You I are disagree. a bird. I assume no, you speak I'm the gone. language of birds. I, I don't like. I'm gone. I don't how, like how being that, labeled. How does that help? Panic. As you guys are discussing, Greckles is already back to Naruto style, like walking like a squirrel on the trees. Hell yeah. Um, I would like to take like if there's a way to take my time to watch for traps, for more eyes, things of that nature. Just let me know what rolls I would need to make. I'm just being very cautious right now. I'm going to say as you guys continue traveling for the rest of the day, everybody roll perception checks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Ooh. fucking lord. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, boy. Oh, lord. Panic, you keep getting hit with branches. Uh, you're walking behind Borky, and Borky's like pushing the branches, and then he like keeps ah, moving forward ah. and just pat, hit you in the face. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Borky, uh, as you're traveling, you guys uh, make your way through a small creek, and you notice in the far distance a, a deer lifts up its head from drinking, flicks two of its ears, and then takes off bounding into the woods. Oh, it's beautiful. Nature's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. I I'm gonna kill it if I see it again. <laughs> <laughs> Task, uh, as you're traveling, you notice um, a couple of foxes in the far distance moving around, as well as lots of birds, lots of different animals, raccoons and, and opossums and all kinds of different natures of beasts. This is probably the most you've seen in an area before in your travels. Like, the absurd amount of animals here is actually rather impressive. But upon seeing all you, they scatter. And as you guys travel deeper and deeper into the thick of the woods, very soon uh, you are taken by nightfall and are found in dusk brightness. All right. So once again, we're going to have to take watch because not only did we see a lot of animals, but now I'm actually legit scared that most of those animals were actually elves. I don't blame you there. Who's going to take the first watch? How how dark is it right now? Uh, it's dusk, so there's a little bit of light. It's a very blue overtones sky let, at the let, moment. Let Panic take first watch, because we... Wait, wait, no, Greckle should, because you don't have dark vision, yeah? Well, that's the thing, is that are we going to have more time now or last shift? Hmm. Borky should I just take don't know the how the time's going to work. Because he has, he has orc sight, which allows him to see to the dark. All you can see in the dark except me. No. I'm literally the only one. That's actually a legit good question. Yeah, but, you... but then again, here's the thing is that the canopy's above us. We don't know if the sun's going to come sooner or or uh, or leave sooner. 
Is there is there enough room in the canopy where I could actually bed down comfortably? Silly, silly no. Can, okay. By the way, the the, the, the dragon drake that's been that's been walking with us too. Uh, yeah. Is, yep. Can it also take watch? I guess it could with a command from the whistle. Yeah, I don't see why not. Oh, okay. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. We don't know what it can do, like, specifically, but that's not a bad idea. Mm. Yeah, let's find out. Because it doesn't it, it doesn't need to, like, it hasn't need to eat or anything through all of this, has it? Excuse uh, no. Me. It, it, stopped, it, oh. it stopped to drink in the creek when you guys stopped to refill your water skins. Um, so... It does sort of idle itself a little bit. All right. Well, I hear wolf. I'll wolf let this. <laughs> God damn it! I'll, <laughs> I'll let this. I'll I'll let this thing take watch with me then. I guess. Okay. So I'll I'll take the I'll take the darkest. I'll take well the, at the most darkest uh, watch then. Okay. I'll and I'll take. I guess I'll take daybreak because it's going to be the only time I'm going to see. Okay. I guess I'll take watch after task. Oh, I guess I'm All right, to... Bork, you're up first. All right, good night, everybody. I'll take watch first. I've got my axe to shine. Got some deer I want to hunt tomorrow if they're slow. All right. Borky, I'm going to need you to make a perception check I for just, your watch. But I already rolled a really nice perception roll. Can't I just do my perception roll forever? <laughs> no. Roll again, big boy. There's... Hours yeah. have passed. Mm. Ooh. Not bad. Um... As you're you're sitting and you're watching, you see two or three owls, tons of bats, and a few night creatures kind of make their way through the camp, stop, look at you, uh, and then just kind of make their way out. Uh, your watch ends without any sort of problem. <laughs> okay. Well, you wake up task, I assume? I uh, just I, I, pick, I literally pick task up and stand him up. <laughs> Your shift. Borky flop, flops down to his bed. I sleep already. And you didn't bother to tell him what you saw. Oh yeah, there were some owls. <laughs> Good report. Uh, task. And go ahead. Bats. <laughs> wait, wait. A woman just became an owl, and that's all you have to fucking say? Yeah, there was like three of them or whatever. I don't know, they just looked at me. That's important. Well, I mean, they weren't bothering nobody. There's no uh, Taurus, wake up and don't watch. There, there, there's no meat on owls. Uh, the go to Drake. Go to sleep. <laughs> the guard Drake oh. patrols around the circle of the camp. Like a machine. It goes, it stops, stands up, does another circle, sits down, gets up, just continues throughout the, uh, your watch. I want you to roll a perception check. Very well. Damn. Uh -oh. eh, it's night. It's boring. You see, like, hedgehogs kind of hobble through the camp. There's, a, like, a mama hedgehog and two little baby ones. Oh, but how cute are the babies? They're really You're asleep! <laughs> this is me, out of character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we all know your luck in hedgehogs, buddy. Um, they make their way through <laughs> camp. Uh, other than that, no issue with your watch. All right, ask, well... I don't, like, at, at least some kind of, like, acknowledgement just looks to Tarisk and asks if anything of, of note happened in any direction. Uh, the guard drag looks at you, gives no real clear response, and then kind of lies down, uh, front claws crossed. Fair enough. Panic, wake up. <sighs> Your turn. No nothing to report. Shift already. Yep. Man. All right. Well, Panic sits up, and he got his guitar and oh, slap. Borky no. says in his sleep, I could totally lift a wagon. <laughs> totally do it. Taurus, go sit on him. Uh, the Drake goes and, and lays next to Borky. Borky no, cuddles. Borky, <laughs> Borky cuddles with it. Oh, I missed you too. You're, as it's grabbed and currently is being hugged. <laughs> Task leans in to Taurus and just goes, you see that? That's why we hate him. Task, why are you so much warmer than I thought you'd be? <laughs> <laughs> um, panic. As you're sitting there and strumming the guitar, um, you hear the rustling of grass 
And it's like, wow, it's really nice, nice sound to hear. You're strumming on your guitar, hear more rustling of grass. Then you realize, wait, there's no wind today. I, I nudge Task. And I, I nudge everyone I can nudge. Bef before you can even nudge them, as you turn and look, you see and you hear through the grass as you see Borky, Task, and Greckles currently at the moment, like floating on their backs, still sleeping, slowly moving eastward. <laughs> what the fuck? Now's a good time to yell really loud. Yes! Uh, <laughs> I, I just yell, wake up! Ah! As you yell this panic, thousands upon thousands of field mice scatter from under each of your companions into <laughs> the woods. <laughs> what? They were conveying my my <laughs> cohorts into the woods Even on mice. Forest? Borky doesn't Borky doesn't wake up. He's still asleep. They all scatter into the fields. You hear you see all the grass around rustling. You also check your bags, and some of them are open. I check to see if anything's gone. Uh, as you check to see, you find that the scroll of Speak with Dead is gone. No! Fuck! Also, I who, had, who had Colette's doll? Who? Colette's doll? Uh, Peyton uh, gave, I believe, if I recall, I had it in my notes, I may have not gotten it, but uh, Peyton Black gave you guys the doll that belonged to Colette, in case you I, find her. I don't have it written down. That was, no, I, have I, that. I actually believe, let's see here. Oh, that was me. I had, I had item had of that? importance for a little girl. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, that's gone as well. Um, I guess we're all just going to check our stuff to make sure it's all there. Borky wakes up. Does, you guys... Bor does Borky have his macaroons? Uh, yes, he still has his macaroons. When, uh, how... So Sweet. you see some crumbs where maybe some field mice may have, you know, before getting to work, may have uh, snuck a snack. Borky's just, <laughs> Borky just breathes in deep. As you guys dig through your stuff, you, you make an account of the things that you have, but only those two things are missing. The gotcha. fucking doll is gone. Everybody roll perception checks again. My macaroons are gone. Wait, where was Taurus get all this? Was he with the mice carrying him away too? I was hugging. Uh, he was on top of Borky, and Borky and him were being carried. <laughs> Fucking these mice! <laughs> there were a lot of them. That is a lot of mice. Ooh, there we go. Gaijin, as as you watch your companions dig through their things, you look up and you see that elven woman currently perched in a tree, looking down at the four of you, tilting her head side to side, almost like an owl itself. I just, I just look up and I say, "She's back!" and just point straight up. Uh, panic looks up. You see, staring now in the dark of night, her mm -hmm. once pearlescent eyes now glow through the moonlight, bright yellow and orange, Explain. like the reflection of a dog's eyes. I'm actually gonna try something. Um, I'm going to try and mimic like a bear roar to try and get her attention one way or another, either to get her to flee or to come back down, just to get some kind of reaction from her. Okay, do a performance check. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice. It's a very convincing roar. Yeah, but she's on phase by it. She kind of looks at you quizzically, and she's like tilting her head side to side and, and kind of scanning you all over. Her movement is somewhat unnatural uh, for a humanoid, but... Uh, Given the current position she's in, perched on this tree, it, it's almost as if she's in an animal form, but not. Mm. And you see, creeping out from under her robe, she pulls out the doll. That doll belongs uh, to you. Yes, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a dart. Th uh, a dart attempt. Or, or is she too? Is she more than sixty feet away? No, she's pretty close. It doesn't hit. Oh, oh wow. wait, no, it does hit. It does hit. Okay, I was about to say. You hit her in the shoulder, and she pulls out the dart, and she just drops it out of the tree. And you can see where you hit her is now red crimson staining her white robe. Son of a and she looks down, and she goes, You are very quick to strike that which has not stricken you. Forky backhands Greckles. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Um, hit me. Make that attack roll, sucker. 
anyway while these two chuckle nuts are going at it <laughs> because we made because unfortunately a lot of things in these woods made it attempt that if we don't strike first we get screwed so what do you want it's not what i want it's what you are here for and she throws the doll down to you task catch you we're here seen for... it we're here yeah. for ron fault she, you can see now as you say the name, her back arches, and you can almost swear her hair rises on her head like the, like the plumage of a bird. And she goes, you've learned its name. First and foremost, we are here for the girl. Yes, yeah. she is unconscious now. How do you know this? I saw them come through like I saw him leave. He clutches in his hand that of a human child. She does not move, she does not respond. I got close to see if she were dead, but she's not stricken with fever. The elements have harmed her, to say the least. Rain, sun, it does not look as if she's eaten for a long time. Crap. Do you know which and way I know, it went? I know exactly where it is going. Worse. It is going back to its kingdom. To the thing that fell from the sky a thousand years ago, almost destroying a mother tree that I tend to. I have a qu well, here's a th here's the thing. We it may all be well and good to find this thing, but last time we faced this, last time we faced Rodfall, we didn't we barely even scratched the surface on him. How do we even get to him? I do not know. But and she holds, she pulls out from her robe the scroll of Speak With Dead, I know someone who might follow, and she transforms again and takes off westward. She's been really nice for someone we've shot twice. Shut up and follow her. All right, fair enough. I'll hit those treetops again. All right, as you guys travel through the night, the animals that you've seen, the hedgehogs, the, the foxes, the various oh. owls, make on each side of a treasure trove of different trees are almost making like an alleyway out of glowing eyes. Oh god. And it's that alley that is guiding you through the woods. Uh, I want everybody to roll perception. Greckles, I want you to roll it with disadvantage because it's dark. Okay. Uh... Oh wait, that's persuasion shit. Sorry. No, I don't see nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> roll high, oh. Bork. Oh. Um... Guy, you can't see shit. It's dark. Um, mm -hmm. Task and Borky, you are currently weirded out by the fact that you're being stared at by a lot of woodland critters. <laughs> um, it, it's, I would be, yes. It's very weird. Um, they don't, they, they're kind of like looking at you, like kind of like a sentry, like slowly turning your head as they walk by. As the sun begins to rise in the sky, at this point you've walked for a long time and the animals begin to kind of move on their own. Uh, panic, you notice two things. First of all, you now see very large footprints and trees asundered mm. by something large. And in the far distance, you see a large, just absolutely colossal tree reaching up into the sky with a canopy of branches and leaves that you now realize is what's making this forest so large. Not individual trees by itself, but this actual tree mm. is completely encased this area. Across from that, you see something even larger, a structure made out of polished white stone. And at first you thought it was the silhouette of a mountain, but before that you see that it is a carved stone structure that reaches almost touching the sky beyond the tree itself. And at the peak of it, you see reflecting from the morning sun, the reflection of a large crystal set on top. Okay, so real fast, I need you to repeat one aspect of this. So, like, there's a giant tree. Now, across yep. from the giant tree is a castle, like, like structure, correct? Or is it in the tree? A large castle-like structure. It's a fair distance from it. In okay, fact, okay. It was... well, let's say we're staring right at the tree. We're heading towards it. Where is it in conjunction to that? If you're looking at the tree, it's to your left. And if you just pan your head over to the right, you see the structure almost right there. Okay, so the tree is on the left the buildings on the right yeah okay thank you 
and it is absolutely colossal. It is huge. It is almost as big as Alabast. Yeah. Almost the size. Might have been the old uh, giant kingdom. I assume this is what you meant by back to its home. That's a big house. It is. Well, she did make mention she would know of someone who could help us. The question is, do we trust her? I say. Well, I'm, well, it's all. Indeed. It's the only thing we've got to go on now. That's true. And unfortunately, we have no way of knowing how to actually combat this thing. An arrow didn't pierce it, so I'm guessing conventional weaponry is out the is out of the way. Oh no, I've never swung my axe to do it yet. Hard to walk when you don't got a leg. As you guys break out into through the the what small trees make up the forest you're currently walking in. The animals have all but scattered back into the wood as the morning sun has risen into the sky, bringing back the light to the forest. Um, you guys reach the edge of the forest and you find yourself now near the base of the trunk of this giant tree. Has, has, the, uh, has the woman disappeared? You don't know where she went. She went okay. westward and the, the animals have guided you so far. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're closer to the tree, right? That's you are point. right at the trunk. The the current um uh root is where you're stare at, standing at, but it it goes on for miles. It's absolutely huge. Uh Bork Borky says uh, out loud. Oh so big. Can you imagine if we set it on fire, how big the fire would be? Borky shut uh, well, up. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just saying it'd be big. Come on, man. So you brought right. us here, and it seems like our interests align. So where's this one that can help us? Tass screams out. You hear a <laughs> as a eagle comes out and transforms back into the woman, and she lands on her feet. She's closer to you now, and now that she's closer to you, another fact about her strikes you. This is an old elf, and oh. elves live a long time. Oh, boy. And she looks at you, and she goes, Yes, our goals, they are aligned. I care for this forest. And I wish not for things to come in and out of it. And she kind of gives you guys, a, gives you Greckles, specifically a very dagger-esque kind of glare. Nature's cruel. We were just defending ourselves. Oh, yes. It can be. Let's and keep it. Borky, Borky, Borky leans down. She's going to hit you when you least expect it, like I am. <laughs> we will leave the forest. I, under under I understand. I understand. As soon as we have accomplished our goal. Yes. We I know it's... must save that girl. Okay. Yes, and I want it to be so. The humans who have settled on this part of the world, they've respected my boundaries. They do not tread into my forests. But, with Ronfolt now walking again, well, I fear that he would lead more people into here. Perhaps they would think to purge this entire area. I will help you in what way what I you, can. What do you mean again? When did this happen? About 1,200 years ago, that, and she lifts a hand and points towards the large castle-like structure in the distant, distance, that fell from the sky. The whole building intact. Yes, it was not destroyed, and nothing around it grows, and nothing around it dies. The stone never ages, never is weathered by rain or sun. Have you gone inside? I did, and it was a mistake. I saw him there, standing, no, resting, sitting, hand on his blade at wait, as if waiting for a command. Hmm. Well, an otherworldly giant comes crashing down into the into the forest. Oh boy, this will be fun. Did you ask it wasn't him to the leave? First one. I did not speak to it. I left. And yes, there was one other. 200 years before that, one fell from the sky. He was wounded. I could not heal him. I was not skilled enough at the time to do so. 
follow me. And she begins walking up the root of the large mother tree, which at this distance, you have to crane your neck all the way back up to just get a look at. It is a large sort of fawny brown um, trunk that's just absolutely colossal. It's massive. Um, there are different sprays of vines crawling up the side. You see birds nesting in the curled pieces of the bark. And she leads you around, and as, as you walk, you notice um, Greckles and uh, Panic. You're getting some deja vu. You're noticing now those stones that you saw with Ozzy. There are a few sprinkled here and there. I chime in. Uh, excuse me for a minute. Yes? She keeps walking. She doesn't turn and look at you. She just keeps walking forward. This isn't the first time we've seen these runes or these stone. Three towns back, the same images appear. Runes carved in stone, some aging in different lengths of time. There are some like that here. They fell before that fell. She juts her head towards the, the castle. And she leads you on, and as you turn the corner, you see embedded, like, stuck in the tree, a large skeleton. Huge, massive, 10, 12 feet tall. Whoa. It seems as though the mother tree has grown over it. Its head currently facing downward, large. You see what used to be a warrior's helmet planted on its head. A sword is resting, currently eaten over by the root of one of the, one of the roots of the mother tree. And the druid woman pulls out the scroll and she throws it to you, Panic. Panic catches it. Oh, this ought to be interesting. That's a big skelly. Likely another giant. Oh man, they're big. Well, Panic, I guess the floor is yours, as always. So I'm going to give you the details of this spell so you know what you can do here. Okay? Alright. How big, real quick, real quick, how big is the sword I'm seeing right now? Uh, it's about the same size as the one you saw Ron Fault carrying. So I'm bigger than what Borky could use, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's too huge. Okay. It's It's almost like... A couple Probably feet like bigger than Titanic or Colossal? Oh, like <sighs> we're talking like six feet. No, we're talking like probably eight feet. Oh God! Ten, ten feet Fuck tall. me! It is a like cloud strife large sword. Okay, like, but, like, but like, but like, but like, what would but would Borky think that? I... Okay, okay, <laughs> Borky okay. Could try and probably pull no, us back. No, well, we're gonna wait till we're talking to the ghost. We're gonna. <laughs> All right. Go for so, it. I believe I'm trying to find. I had the spell saved, but it's not working. I believe you get to ask it five questions. Oh okay. man. Ooh. Okay. Can we talk amongst ourselves in character to ask it the right questions? I think that's fine. Okay. Let's do that. Well. I don't want to waste these questions. What should we do? What should I ask you? I would First and, I, mm, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. First and foremost, we should ask, how do we damage it? We should also ask what this thing is. What is it? How do we kill it? Where did it come from? Can it be reasoned with? Can it be reasoned with? And can I have that sword? Those are the five important questions we did ask you. I think we're all in agreement well, on obvious... that. Uh, obviously, we know that it's being controlled by someone else, so we don't need to necessarily know where it came from. Who brought but it we back? Do need... That is a good question. Okay. So... And, like, what the make of the sword is, and if it is balanced properly. Just important questions. Bor you know? Bor 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 Borky... Unfortunately, the sword questions might have to be pushed back a little bit. Oh, Jesus, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. If you play nice and let us ask the questions, we'll go back into town, 
Ask Ozzy for another commune with dead, and you can trek all the way back here and ask your questions. Well, it's a long <laughs> walk. I'll just see if we can fit mine in. It's fine. I'll play cool. Play cool. Panic, so. you have the floor. Very well. So just to recap, what is what is what is this thing? How do we damage it? Where did it come from? And probably asking who we're speaking to, just for some context. Yeah. I'll lead with that. Yeah, lead with that. And also, I think the last one was, uh, ask who's controlling it. Uh, how did it come back? All right. And Panic unravels the scroll and activates it. All right, the scroll disappears. And there's a moment of silence for a while. And you, there's a calm quiet silence and then you notice the skeleton begin to shift and move trapped in the tree but you hear panic the rise and fall of breath and slowly the head turns to look at you and you see and no one else sees this panic but you see now filling the skeletal form is this incorporeal blue essence ghostly and transparent and it looks to you awaiting who are you I am Von Ren, giant king of the eastern sky. Oh. I fell to combat by Ron Fault. Okay, can you say his name again, actually? Van Ren, you said? Van Ren. Van, Van Ren. The, Van Ren the Sky King, you said? Yes. And uh, the next one was, what is Ronfault, right? Yeah, hello? No, we're, 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 we're sorry. We're, we're jotting notes really quick. Oh, sorry. This is really neat. This is really neat. We were, we were well, we were going to ask. We know what Ronfault is, but we were, we're trying to figure out how to hurt it, um, who's controlling it, what would the, uh... What were the other two, Zito? Can it uh, can he be reasoned with? Okay. And who's controlling it? And who brought it? And who brought Ron Fault back? You might not know that, because he's been kind of dead. Yeah. So then we'll keep that last one as a as a random shot. Okay. So uh, keep keep who's controlling it to at the, the end. The... All right. Yeah. That that might that might change. Yeah, that might. How? Just just ask. How might how might we stop Ron Fault? Because that might be the next uh, trend, like good transition. Because we know that Ron Fault killed him, so it's like, how do we kill him back? How do we defeat Ron Fault? <laughs> you guys watch as the skeleton head bobs up and down in a pseudo laughter. <laughs> oh yeah, metal! You cannot kill Ron Fault anymore. His body, you cut off a limb, and that thing feeds him a new one. Takes that which Ronfalt has earned by combat, and fuels him to be stronger. Keeps his kingdom alive, keeps his name alive. He cannot die in legend or in body. That was the deal that he struck. turns to his gang. We have no information. Ask him about the sword. <laughs> Sorry. Do do they hear this or is it just no, me? It's just, just you. you. No, it's just you. You gotta bring this back to us. Alright, so Yeah, we will play panic. the game that he's relaying it back to you guys. Panic yeah. panic turns panic turns to the rest of the group and says, Well it appears that Ron fault cannot be harmed by conventional means. It harvests 
body parts from what I've from what I've gathered and uses those as replacements for when its own <laughs> is injured. The skeleton laughs again as, as you say this to your companions. That would be too simple. That is well, not what feeds him. I, I have That's to put, what feeds him. I have to put it like that. They don't understand. I just have to uh, be here, you know? So... Seriously, just what feeds him? What... What feeds him? Thousands of years ago, our king feared his name would turn to dust with time. His kingdom would turn to nothing more than ashes and ruin. He struck a deal with something. A being by the name of Stillhavity. Whoa, Stillhavity? The creature is what feeds Ron Fault, but what feeds the creature is two things. Okay, okay. The first... Nadine, Nadine, Nadine. Hot, still Havity was the name? Still Havity. Okay, yeah. Can you say that again, please? Like it, it's Still, still Havity. S-T-I-L-L-H-A-V-I-T-Y. -L -L okay. My god, that's exactly how I was... I spelled it. Sorry, I thought I was like... I thought I was completely mishearing that. Sorry, go on. I did not mean to cut you off. That is what feeds Ron Fault, but what feeds it is two things. The first is the head of a duelist who would not surrender, proud kings who would fight to their very last breath. To fight with that which cannot die would end in tiredness and a beheading. Their heads would decorate the pikes that surround the altar to Stilhavity. And if that does not fuel him, those that duel the king, who the king challenges without word, well then, he would take their most prized possessions, their most beloved things, and lay it upon a horde that feeds Stilhavity's altar, his demon's leash. Holy mm. crap, fuck. Okay. Fuck. So Ronfald went to this thing just to get itself some legacy. And whatever this thing is feeds on that legacy. And they Seems want like it. it. And so he so he successfully dueled that guy, took the most precious thing from him for the ceremony, which was his fucking Which was his dog. kid. And it was the sword of the entire town from before. Exactly, and the fucking head of the duelist. But the thing about that is, is that the head of the duelist is really specific. What that, that, if that's still the paladin, needs? That's, that's the paladin, though. The paladin. No, I know it's the paladin. I know it's the paladin. But at the same time, that's very specific. To take the head of something that was a sacrificial thing of something that has pride and honor in it. What would feed off that? Nothing corporeal. Nothing. Not, nothing physical. Well, we already we already know it's other demons. So mm. it's very very mm. likely we're dealing with devils. A demon's making, leash. Pa making, okay. making, pa making packs and such. That's the devil work. Yeah, if it was a demon, if this is way too organized for it just to be a demon. Now, quick mm -hmm. thing, now that this is this whole castle and this guy, these all, they all fell from the sky, correct? Like, I heard that stuff properly at the beginning of this, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, sorry. There's also a sky, I'm just going to write Skyland, question mark, real fast here in my notes. What sounds like may have happened is that there was this big, giant war and Ronfalt would not die in order to protect his legacy. And in order to, I suppose, take out uh, Van Ren and anyone else in his way, he just he just sold his soul for, for power, and it all just came literally crumbling down. And then crashed down here. Mm-hmm. Oh, my god! Which would also make sense as to why those runes are still active and necrotic and demonic. All right. All right, so then we can't destroy Ronfault. How do we take the fight to Stilavity? That would be a good question. I have something I'll do in character, actually, about that. All right, uh, so after Panic relays all that information, uh, he turns back to, his, to the group. Knowing this, do I ask him what... Uh, 
how to find still how to defeat how to destroy still have how to defeat still have how to stop still have um yeah. ceremony i think sorry. i think I, we, I, sorry i mean yeah. i'm not in character i'm sorry i shouldn't be able to say that i apologize we we already we know the creature's name now knowing how to defeat still and, and where it is would be beneficial that would be our last two questions though mm -hmm. i think with the information we have gathered we could afford to lose those two questions then let's take those two questions then wait oh what should we should we ask where still is and then how to defeat him that's I'm what i sure. meant yeah okay. i'm not sure he would know well then how do we def uh how do we defeat would be the first one and then if we could find that would if he can't i i would assume that he would honor the bargain of if he doesn't know we can still keep the question Plus, if we if he knows that if he knows about Stillhavity, and there would be a good chance that he would know where he is. Fair enough. And turns back to turns back to Von Ren. How do we stop Stillhavity? You cannot stop his deal. He came to our kingdom, a man looking much like yourself walked in and offered the deal and the moment it was struck he disappeared he boasted himself the son of Girasil, and as such more than likely returned to that realm everybody roll knowledge religion or actually no just panic roll knowledge religion yes nice, nice. You know this god. Boy, do you know this god. Especially as a bard, a person who's been into like houses of splendor and things like that uh, Girasil is the evil god of greed. Oh, Girasil? yeah. How do you how do you spell that? Girasil? Uh, G i r a s i l. G i r i r s a l. Yeah. Girasil, god of greed. <laughs> Just keep and going. still, Havity is the son of Girasil. Oh God! Fuck's sake. So it's a G I R A S A L. Yeah. Okay. Oh my the God. The God of the God of Greed. We're fighting. We're we're attempting to fight his son. Well, at least the version of his son. I'm, God's son. Uh, uh, Girasil is is the God of Greed, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And still have it. He's his kid. Of Greed, father. Level one quest, everybody. Level one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> go fight a go fight the spawn of a god. All right, I, I roll my new character whose name is Alucard. He has uh, two guns and a uh, plus eight to killing every bitch in his way. <laughs> you have one more question. Oh do god. We, do we still want to find out where he is? Given uh, we are fighting a I demigod, mean, at he's least. Pretty, wait, wait. I mean, it's pretty obvious where he is. Borky just gestures over his shoulder at the castle. Fuck, wait, no, we may not want this then. This may not be good for us. To, to specify, think... you may have missed it, but he said he went back to his realm. Yeah, he went back yeah, to his realm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we know where he is. So we're, we're not we're not going to be able to take the fight to him, and we're not going to be able to stop this. So maybe the idea of is there a way we can fucking... Is there a way that we can bargain or have diplomatic relationships Actually, with... Uh, with Ron Fault, some oh. way to some way to tie this away from him, some way that we can prove what? that legacy can come to him if we just get everything back. Can I can I mention something? I have an idea. No, so you no, he, he said, he said that he needs to grab the head in the sword to do the thingy right that makes him more powerful and whatnot right. Am I am I right, mate? Borky's asking everybody. It, yeah. uh... What the head is... The which... head and the treasures, I believe, are used for some sort of ritual, some sort of... What if we stop the... Pact. What if we take the girl? It won't work. He'll just come back and get us. He'll just... He'll just but, return. This... Boy, hear me out, well, right? If he doesn't get the magic, if the magic don't work, he's not immortal anymore. Task, he may have a point. This is what I've been thinking. 
we've seen his name all over the place and we've seen necrotic bindings of it if we were to destroy his legacy in the corporeal world would it be possible that it would weaken him if not destroy him hmm. we can't what? fight him head on my question is is if we can replace would it would it be enough to disrupt the ritual if we just replace something with something he ho finds high in value and thinks it's useless holds out the lettuce that's the magic we would actually is. we would have to we would have to find him and then somehow weasel in the item into wherever it is he has everything else stashed may i interject the elf looks at all of you please do Perhaps the fight isn't to be taken to the man, but that which fuels him. I saw when I looked inside of his keep a forge of demon fire resting in the middle of a sea of gold. Take the, take the fire, huh? Perhaps. Unfortunately, how does one, how does one we... take fire? Mm. Well, Perhaps like, take... not the fire, but what holds it. What holds it? I'm lost. Can someone explain to me? Probably, a, probably a torch or some or something of the sort. But if he, you if you recall, uh, Van Ren mentioned that there's an altar. Mm. Do we? T would would destroying be just as good as taking? I don't know. This is beyond my knowledge. I know that of the woods and mild arcane practice and what I saw. How you call this evil is, well, up to you. So we have one more question. Where do we find the altar? Mm hmm Where do we find this altar? It rests in the middle of his unfallen kingdom, mm. surrounded by what fuels it. And every time he slew one of us, took our thrones, took our crowns, he would return there like a bird to its nest and stay at watch until the next year rang so he could continue the cycle over and over again until there was nothing left. All right, boys, so we're infiltrating a Sky King's castle and breaking his shit. Dibs on, and as, dibs on breaking as you, his shit. As you ask the final question, you, you hear the breathiness in the back of your mind panic disappear, and the incorporeal blue fades. And as you watch this happen, and as the head lulls back, you hear a kick as the jaw clack, 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 falls off. Rest well, Van Ren, giant king of the eastern sky. You have earned it. Well, did he point out where we have to go? I think it's the castle, mate. The castle right next to us, or the one, or there's a second castle. Do you happen? It looks to the elf. Do you happen to know where it is? There's just this castle. The rest that has fallen from the sky has reduced to this, and she points towards one of the stone that is rubble. Hmm. So. What I'm afraid what I'm afraid of now is walking into this thing means that we could just be walking straight into some kind of otherworldly bullshit. Perhaps I can aid you more so in return for a favor. Mm. Perhaps. What's that favor? I am growing old. And I've lived for a very long time. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> 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 you, look, you look quite fetching, actually, and argue. Roll, Roll charisma, you know, I'm dude. You, I'm gonna let you have that, actually. <laughs> she she laughs, and this is she doesn't look like she's laughed in a very long time. And she looks rather pleased with you. She goes, she turns back, and she goes, "I've heard of people coming from a large city known as Alavast." I. I've also met a druid from there named Lily. Yes. She the best. I, oh, the one you mentioned. Mm, she, assist, awesome. she, she assisted us, and we assisted her in getting rid of uh, something that plagued the green. Mm, there's some bugs. 
The animals appreciate your good work. Yeah. I am growing old, regardless of what fine compliments you pay me. I will need a replacement soon to cover this wood. Lily spoke to me of a guild that yields many new blossoming druids. If you could send word, perhaps, send one who you think would be adequate for taking over the mother tree and this place, I will aid you today with a very powerful spell that costs a significant amount of money. If we don't, uh, well, if we don't end up dying on this mission, I assure you one of us will be able to give word. <laughs> More than happy if you die, friend. if you die, then my favor would mean nothing and you would owe me nothing. Well, that's, that's why we have the confidence to take on this crazy mission in the first place. It wasn't crazy when we signed up. It was go get what was stolen and now we're fighting on what, a piece of, what, piece of stone? This is weird. We'll, we'll accept your assistance in what you ask for. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, one second, guys. On guys, one guys, guys, pause, pause, pause. Yeah. The audio crashed. What? Audio crashed. Oh, no. Can you guys hear okay? The chat? Sorry. I just noticed the chat. Is it back? Okay. It, like, stroked out for a second, apparently. Sorry, Nadine. Continue on. Oh, are we, we're, we're good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, she looks and she goes, I will do this on one additional condition. Task raises his eye, his eyebrow a little bit. Very well. I, what is it? It is only that thing and the forge that burns within there that lives within that place. Before that thing can complete its ritual, before that child is fed to that furnace, you will fight it today with the aid of my spell. Guys, real fast, pause. Sorry, the chat's freaking out. Like, I can't, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna have to pause here real fast. I, I can't get heads or tails. Is, is it, is the audio working or not, chat? Like, because I can't tell what's going on. Some say, some say it's fine. A lot of, uh, some, some people are saying that it's buffering, which is not our end. Okay, this is, yeah, it's, it's okay. fine on my end. It's fine on my end. Okay, it's, I'm not having any issue here. Mm-mm. Guys, if you're if you're having if you're having issues, just refresh. If refresh doesn't fix it, then it might be an overall issue. But if refresh fixes it, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, because a lot of people are saying that it's fine, so it's not our side. Okay. Sorry. All right. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, everyone right. says it's fine now. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all good. Make sure okay. they can hear the crazy shenanigans that are going on. Um, she looks at you and she says, "You would have to finish quelling this evil today." Easily done. Very Excellent. well. Excellent. I say that's the best chance we've got. Then, let us eat on it. And she reaches into her robe, and she pulls out a pristine crystal bowl. And she casts Hero's Feast. Oh, shit. Oh, what? <laughs> that, that, that costs like a thousand gold. Fuck so me! What is, so what does it do? What does Hero's All right, Feast do? everybody... This is what Hero's Feast does. Uh, a creature that partakes in the feast gains several benefits. The creature is cured of all diseases and poison, becomes immune to poison and being frightened, uh. and makes all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Its hit point maximum also increases by 2d10, and it gains the same number of hit points. These benefits last for 22 hours. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Damn, so, 2d10 me... HP. 2d10, what? Ooh, what? That's really good! So do we need do we need to do we need to individually roll for that? This Everybody rolled two d ten. This is a sixth level oh, I, actually, druid spell. Sorry, I actually have to roll the two d ten. Oh, you do? All right, yeah. here we go. She's... This this is a high level druid spell. Fucking. She is very she, high level. She really wants also, us to get um, rid of that. Also, while we're feasting uh, and while you're rolling, I just like to point out we broke one thousand viewers. Yay! Nice. Yeah, did what, at the beginning of this. Holy week. cow! Thousand and six. Hey guys. Well, wow. this is the best time to break it. That's <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Yep, and we are currently the number one D and D stream on Twitch right now. What? That's crazy. Well, that makes that really easy. Everybody, you gain ten hit points. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody, one. add ten to your hit points. Oh, Dude, I got shit. And you one. were nice. healed up completely from last night's rest, yeah, so. I got Yep. So, um, 